Hi, it is I, John underscore Silva underscore, your favorite streamer. Today, we have Alicia asking a question, uh, saying, what's the process for a mortal <laughs> to do a hard perspective drawing and have a lot of characters together? All right, so obviously, I'd say today, this video is gonna be a shorter one because I will show you what you need to do, which is no perspective. There you go. Just know your perspective. One, two, three point perspective and you're fine. Thank you. I'll see you on the next deco. <laughs> um, all right, so let's actually, uh, here. I'm gonna actually take this. I'll do, I'll do my own little drawing, but first, let's decode what's happening in here. All right. I'm picking a color that you can see. All right. So the very, very, very first thing you need to understand is that uh, King, King Jun Ji um, mentions this all the time, which is to know the box of things. So what that really means is, uh, for example, this guy right here, you know, uh, if if he was in a box and that box was in perspective, like uh, how would it? Sorry, I haven't drawn today. Still, how would it look like? You know, kind of he's kind of like inclined forward, so I'm gonna inc incline my my box. You know, like how 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 would he look like if he was in? Oops, bad. If he was in a box, there you go. Um. And this is the very principal rule, the very fundamental rule to um, to drawing like him. Of course, I'm gonna get a little bit more in depth to it. I'm not gonna give you a, a perspective tutorial on this one, but just know that the way he sees things, he's just seeing the the 3D box that's relate in relation to the perspective uh, of the image. And let's find he's uh, he has a bit of a fisheye perspective. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find oh the way you find perspective by the way if you're using reference is you follow any any lines that will uh, that that are clear in direction right. So for example this one here I'm just gonna do my best to. Okay, that's really wonky, but I'll just show you. You're supposed to do this with either a ruler. I guess I could use Photoshop's line tool uh, so that it looks a little neat, neater. Where is it? Uh, line tool. So, blah. Right about there. Uh, oh, you can't see shit. I don't know why. But I'll go over with a normal brush and follow that. Now, where t the two lines will intersect, right, in the different axes, that's going to be your horizon or about your horizon line. Although I think this this line here is kind of wonky. Um, I'd say that your horizon line, considering here, it's going to be somewhere here, like where, where, it's, where it's crossed, or it could be a little lower, it could be a little higher. But as long as you have an idea of whereabouts it is, you honestly don't... It, it's fine if you don't know where it is exactly. So I'm just going to add a horizon line in there. Um, he has another line going uh, backwards. Right, uh, and I'm just going to... You know what? I'm just going to make one newer line so we don't have a bunch of red lines here. All right. Uh, Sorry, it needs to be on a different layer. Okay, so our horizon line is somewhere there. It could be a little lower, it could be a little higher. As long as it's anywhere between here, honestly, you're good to go. Because if you are if you are to trace King Jum Ji's actual lines and perspective, you will, act, you will find mistakes. It's not like 
he's super good and he's super close to uh, accuracy, but he also is leaving himself some, giving himself some slack to make the images appear cooler with de uh, deformations and things like that. Um, and now for every character, there's two things you wanna you wanna do. What's the process uh, for a mortal to do hard perspective drawing and have a lot of characters together? So, um, Bay, so you want to do two things. Uh, the first thing we, we just shown and the second thing, which is find your horizon line. And then you, you based on that, you can dictate whether it's, uh, I'm going to erase this. Uh, you can, you can dictate whether you are doing a one point perspective, two point perspective or, or whatever else. Um, and in this case, he has a three point perspective. And the way you find that is by counting this line number one, this uh, two, and then the third one that I erased so somewhere around here, right? So this is three. So this is three point, uh, actually maybe even four. I'm seeing the other line here. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a three point perspective. Uh, sorry, because the, there's also the uh, vertical to it. Um, so this actually counts as, I would count this one as part of the one too, because it all come from the same um, uh, VP. I forgot what that stands for. <laughs> vanishing point, there you go. Vanish VP one is vanishing point one. I guess it's a mini, I said, I said, what I wasn't gonna do, I'm actually doing now. So this is vanishing point one, vanishing point VP, VP two is on the right, and then you have vanishing point three, which is let's do it in in pink, here. Uh, there you go, and that's VP three. So yeah, three three vanishing points. Um, maybe the third one is like very subtle, but it's a we, we shouldn't ignore it regardless. Yeah, I think it's pretty su subtle because this one kind of like goes like this and then some of these lines uh, seem to go kind of like that. Uh, or at least in some, yeah. Anyways, so you find your vanishing points, you have your horizon line. Now all you need to do for head um, is to just make sure that your characters are in a box you know you know when once you do perspective when you start learning perspective the first thing to do is boxes for the most part so you want to do that and add the the characters in boxes as i shown um as i has, had shown earlier so in this case uh in this case it'll be sort of like if i if i'm gonna add this guy here I'm eyeballing it too, so please forgive me if I'm not going to get it 100% correct. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a super long video. But uh, oh yeah, the finishing point. I'm kind of like going to add it here. Oh, another thing is that uh, the characters rotate. So just because everything is in the same horizon and vanishing points, it doesn't mean that the box can't rotate. And that's when things get a little more complicated. I'll touch on it very, very briefly. Hold on, I'll put it, put it here. There you go. One, two, and then uh, vanishing point two will be somewhere there. So I'm gonna eyeball it here and continue it. All right. So we have somewhat uh, clo close enough <laughs> box, little box here. Easy, close enough. There you go. It's a little wonky. But this is the process you do and you want to like spend time and care for it. I want, I want the video to, to be pretty small and then the, f the way you can find the faces of things, uh, the faces of, of um, each square is by usually you do like across from top to bottom corner 
of course I, I don't know where the bottom corner is because I haven't drawn it but usually you just want to do like a little cross uh, from corner to corner whatever that corner will be and this is like this is one okay this is like way too many lines now let me lower lower this down so there is let me hide that horizon line no actually I'll keep it so here's face number one you know and then face number two uh, that it's like towards us and then you can do the same for all of the other uh, we, I call this a face because it's like a 3d term but you can just call it like a side or whatever that's like side number two is somewhere in there uh, this is the worst brush for me to do this here this way better brush because it has no tapering on it um, and then like the top that's that's how you want to find like the the center of every uh, side you know and uh, here you'd follow the perspective as well so in this case you'd have this would be let's imagine this would be the center and then this would be the center to the other uh, side of the box and these are the outside um, I'm gonna even erase the pink there and this, this so that we just see the outside only and not the not like not like an x-ray right so we just see the outside of the box um, so I'm gonna erase that all right and once you find the middle uh, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because the the important part is proportion and the way Kingdom G does proportion is just by f uh, following head level. And by one way you can find the head level, there's there's two ways, but I like using the uh, finding the center of the box because then you have like two divisions, top and bottom, and you can you can you can add the um, this is where I this is where I break because real artist terminology is something I'm not <laughs> good with. Uh, all right, so once you have one box, I'll simplify it even more. You can now start adding a bunch of boxes to other people. And the way you rotate the box in perspective uh, is by adding another vanishing point. So that, that probably sounds like news to you but okay so i'll just add a new vanishing point here uh let's make it blue this is like a mini like super scuffed perspective tutorial um so this is a new vanishing point let's call it a vp4 vp4 and this vanishing point is solely to um to rotate a box. So the further away a vanishing point is, the rotation of the box uh, is going to be different versus the closer it is to the center of uh, the image. If, if if this vanishing point four was in the center of this image, then you would look like this. And you'd have like a, a, f a, a one point, it, it would look like a one point, uh, perspective right but if you add it to the sides like here then that the box that you will eventually draw so it comes up like this the box that you'll eventually draw will be rotated uh, differently so I'll just show you here in a very scuffed and by the way you will want to like grab an actual perspective book because I'm I'm cutting corners in a lot of this because it's it's a loaded question to draw to do what <laughs> what uh, King Junji does so I'm just gonna do a very um, so if you want to a, a box here right uh, let's see um, I'm gonna just I'm just I'm gonna try to box this guy although I don't think that's where the vanishing point is I think it's sort of like there okay let's box this guy so vanishing point four is somewhere like on the outside of the image as most vanishing points are actually you'll find that that it's usually outside of the image um so uh let's do, 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 do. okay so 
I'm gonna try and box this the body of this guy here. Uh, let's do sort of like that, and then we're gonna follow vanishing point two. I don't know why the thing cut cut in there. Uh, let's continue all the way down for vanishing point three, and now I'm gonna. I should know where the. I'm I'm lazy, but I should know where the bottom of this vanishing point three is to actually make this a proper thing, but um, so this is above uh, here. This this is wrong. This is omega scuffed, but you'll see. All right, so there's that, uh, and then here, here. Here, whoa, hold on. Here, and I'll put the box here. All right, and now go back to vanishing point one. And we have our scuffed box. And if you actually have the vanishing points added, uh, and you know where they actually are, then your lines are going to look way more accurate than mine. But um, here it is, this guy in a box. And then you can find the middle by doing the whole X thing I was telling you about and finding the, the middle point of each side of... Uh, sorry, this needs to follow perspective. So, like this. Yeah, so you, you can find the middle point of our boy here looking into the skull it would be something like that um and uh this is super fucking quick um learn three point perspective and learn how to rotate boxes in perspective those are the two things you want to learn um and uh i guess i'll do a quick so this is the explanation of what he does in a very rudimentary way uh, these are all the lines we have here there you go sorry that one is very scuffed so I'm gonna hide that this one the one on the right is a little better it's a little cleaner um, and um, let's hide this and I'll do my own little drawing here Except most of the time the guy does fish lens. You can have three point uh, perspective and have it fish lensed. It's just that usually it's off the camera, the, the fourth vanishing point. Um, but uh, yeah, he does some distortion for sure. Uh, which is just a curved, it's a, cur it's a curved, it's curved vanishing points. Uh, let's bring this up and I'll do a little drawing here just for you. Um, all right. Does he curve the horizon line or does, how does that work? Horizon line will never gets curved. Horizon line is your eye level as well. I mean, actually, ah, oh, fuck. Perspective is like so intricate. It, horizon line is eye level, but, but. The moment you tilt your head away from Earth's horizon line, uh, then horizon line is separate from the eye level. But generally speaking, is yeah, <laughs> is is that? But anyways, uh, it's dude. Perspective is hard, man. Um, and I don't know everything about it either. But the little that I know is enough to pull off uh this um okay so in his case i'm gonna i'm gonna do exactly that i'm gonna establish my horizon line okay quick quick little drawing chat uh let me just erase this vp1 quick little drawing um i'll do it in the same color so it, it, it all matches to my explanation as well uh all right, let's delete that. All right, horizon line, 
In this case, I'm gonna use it as a as a, um, as a eye level as well, and then we're gonna add our vanishing points. So let's do I did yellow for the one on the left. I'm gonna oh you know what in Photoshop you can use the rulers. So you just you control R, then you're gonna have like some numbers on the sides, and then if you control if you hold control and click on here, I'll take a I'll take a screenshot so you know what I'm what, what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I I guess this works. Did that work? That didn't work. Here, I'll do that. All right. So on the sides of Photoshop, you'll get these little um rulers or yeah i guess it's a ruler with a bunch of numbers and if you hold control control and you click and if you drag from this point outside you can make this little blue line which acts as a ruler um so and the way you manipulate it is by using the cursor or the move tool so i can establish my um Okay, let's let's add one vanishing point is in there. Uh, the other van the horizon line is here, uh, and then we'll do a two. Well, we'll do it just like he did a three point perspective, right? And then the the vanishing point three will be somewhere. Let's say here. Okay. And now, um, wait, I'll do one more for the vanishing point three, which will be somewhere there. Uh, it'll be here at the bottom. So let's do quick marks. So VP1 uh, in blue, VP2 is gonna be here. I'll hide the explanation for King Jim G. Real quick, VP3 there, and now I should be able to let let me let me take my horizon line, blah, and we're good to go. We have three vanishing points, so let's take that away. Blip, you just control and drag out again. Blip, blah, blip. Blah. All right, and now, because I already spent a lot of time in this, I'm gonna rush it. So vanishing point one, you just do a bunch of, uh, actually there's a quicker way to do vanishing points, which is polygon tool. Oh, there you go. Um, okay, so the way, you <laughs> the way you do this, your own perspective lines is you pick the polygon, <laughs> That's another, ask me on the decodes, okay? Ask me on another decodes. Just trust me on that one. This, this video will be way too long then. Perspective videos are always long or decodes. Um, oh, whoops. Let's take this one and do, and do that. And then let's take another one and uh, do another. All right. Okay, cool. So now we have three. Uh, we have vanishing point one, two, and three, right? And my Photoshop does not like that. So when your Photoshop does not like that, you, um, you wait for it to respond. <laughs> Come on, man. CSB has a perspective. I'll answer questions meanwhile. But I just, I can't do anything, chat. Photoshop is just taking a shit right now. Um, If you hold Alt with the drawing ruler, it, it rotates 90 degrees. There you go. Um, Oh, no. Is this our first crash? 
Hello, Photoshop? Everyone has to take a shit. All right, just in case this crashes, um, I pretty much answered the thing. I don't know why. Hello, Photoshop? Two hour decode. Um, all right, so here's what we'll do. Five head. Wait, five, five Omega head. Okay, save. No, not save. Uh, clipboard. Here, I'm gonna close Photoshop. It's fine, chat. I'll save it. I'll save it. I am a professional of uh, Photoshop crashing. Okay, Photoshop is opening. And this is why I don't use Photoshop. <laughs> Set your tool to pixel instead of shape. It won't have issues then. It'll draw it immediately. Oh, there you go. Nice. Alright, so back to... Ah! Sorry. What a scuffed... Okay, it's fine. What a scuffed video. Alright, so I just took what I had already. Easy clap. Because all I wanted to show you and end the video with is... Um, now that you have three vanishing points, you can draw the, uh, here. You can draw one, one box, wh whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to like pick, uh, like some lines here at random just to show you. But uh, it could be this. If if you're going for the really pushed perspective that King Jim G does, um, this is what I would do. So we have one box. Blah blah blah. Done. And uh, the way it's rotated, we can do this, and then we can do that, and then this is X for this and we'll do an X for that for the outside here only because I already showed you the other ones um, blah 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 all right and those are kind of like the center of or roughly the center of the boxes all right and then here you can draw your little character if you wish to do so uh, let me just do it. All right. So you have a box. And you draw your little guy doing whatever you want here based on... You know, you do... You use construction or whatever it is. It's easier uh, for you. Actually, this should be, like, way bigger. All right. So here. If he's just, like, standing and there's, like, the legs here, etc. And he's just, just like there. And of course, the, the scale is dependent to like everything else. This should actually be more in the center right there. Thankfully, I'm using Photoshop so I can move shit around. But um, of course, if you're making someone just stand, then you want to follow the all of the lines you had here. Right? So this would be like the torso. And then um, the head. And there's just a, a guy standing in there. Uh, however, the moment the body tilts to either side, technically that could be another vanishing point you add and you do all the whole thing again just for the torso, but I'm not going to go there. Anyways, that has been the answer to this one. It's like every time I try to speed run perspective is just a disaster but hopefully you got what i you got what i meant there's just no way perspective is one of those things you need to spend time on um so uh see you guys on the next decodes bye